time since I wore this top. This is, okay, I'm going to say it. This is actually my favorite top. I got a long, long time ago, like in the 90s, it's, I don't know, a long time ago. No, maybe even the 80s. I very rarely wear it. Like, yeah, very rarely wear it. And I like this combination. Oh, forget the fashion. There's a lot of stuff happening uh, in the world. We're not going to cover it any. Oh, I should say that. Honduras. You know, come on, Honduras. You know, you know, it was a coup to begin with. Da, 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 now they got to rig in the elections. Da, 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 da. It'll all work it out. But the people are rising up. Social media is on. Whatever, it's rising up. So let's leave Honduras alone. Um, um, my uh, compatriots, comrades, and kind of and Honduras on the ground, stay strong. Do what you need to do. Speaking about coups or whatever have you, or you know, whatever the past under his coup now there, the guy's trying to solidify himself for another election or whatever, and yeah. But Zimbabwe, let's revisit Zimbabwe. Um, okay, I, I talked before about Zimbabwe, and I'll, I'll, I'll put that link in the show notes, I guess. Um, but here's the thing about Zimbabwe. Uh, I've talked to, because I'm on the University of Fort campus, there's a lot of Zimbabweans, um, you know, on, and here's what I talked to them. Like, but the most incisive thing I got a long time ago, I didn't bring it up the last time, is this. It, it's, it's like this. The, uh, how, can I, how can I put this uh, delicately? I want to be diplomatic if I possibly can. Um, uh, let's put it, one of the cats I was talking to, he said, look, Mugabe, he's been there whatever years, you know, 40, whatever, 30, whatever years he's been in power, whatever. And he's no slouch. He's a very intelligent person. So for you to think that he's just, you know, a nerdy well or whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's foolish. This man, this man has a plan, had a plan. One of the guys told me this. He said that, yeah, Mugabe is one thing, but the, but the political party he has, or has been heading of the PF, that's a whole other thing. He insists that what happened really is that um, Mugabe um, knew he was old, he was frail, whatever he was, he was and he, his legacy is actually with, Zana, with, with the political party that he heads. And so, effectively, this whole thing, uh, I love the way they call it a correction, not a coup, but a correction. It's accurate. Come on. It's a correction. It's the same party in place. All, all change was the head of the party. And think about, just think about the results of everything. Mugabe has come out, you know, he's got a rate pension, whatever millions of dollars that, that he's going to get. His wife who keeps on yeah, 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 and, and bitching and moaning, you know, she, uh, if he, if he, whenever he, he passes, half of his pension goes to her. They got kids, you know, from his, her marriage, whatever, all over the place. They have that legacy. This is why the, those two, the, the, the two wild ones, seems like they just haven't mended their ways or anything like that. Even if they just haven't mended their ways because they figured, huh, we got millions of dollars. We got this place in, in where it was, uh, uh, Indonesia, where it is. They, they got a place there. Um, they got a, they got places and, and, and somebody's in Kenya with some other states. They got, they got the businesses, the, the, the dairy trusts, whatever they got going on. So they're not wanting for anything. So it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. So this, what are you trying to say? The whole, the whole plan was to have um, uh, Mugabe move out of the way, you know, and just to have the party continue on. What's, what has changed? Nothing has really changed. Now, it was said before, a long time ago, the analysis was basically that, well, uh, it's not Mugabe. Mugabe did for a long time, but it's not Mugabe in power. It's the generals. The people, lower tier that's in, in power. And sure enough, what's happened, the general comes in and he pulls all these other generals. But the funniest thing, okay, this is funny to me. Okay, it's not funny to you, but it's funny to me. I've said this before. Um, this happened with, who, who did this? Oh, Fidel Castro. Love Fidel. Hey, Fidel, my man. Uh, when, when he left, when he ceded power, whatever it is, and he says, I'm going to give to, I mean, I'm, I'm going to hand this political situation over to the younger generation. Well, he ended it over to his, his brother, his younger brother, who was like 75 years old. I thought that was hilarious. That, it was funny to me. I just broke out left. Well, guess what happened in, in, in Zimbabwe? You know, Mugabe leaves, the cat that takes over, 
was his henchman, henchman from the very beginning, you know, was all that, you know, laying to waste of other, of other tribal groups, other nations, just, they just, like, just decimated them. I mean, he was the, he was the point person. He was, the, he was the fist of, of Mugabe, right? So, 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 so what happens is Mugabe, they, 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 they do whatever they do, they do, the PF does whatever they do, and who's in charge? A 75-year-old. Now, here's my situation with that. And this, this is all worldwide, this is whatever movements, whatever. If you, say for instance, let's, let's, let's go to Nigeria for, for a second. When they had that whole thing with Nigeria, the eldest person there was like 30 years old. Most of the people in their 20s, you see? All the time, but what I'm trying to say is, why do you hand it over to somebody that's 75? Forget the struggle, credentials, or whatever have you. Isn't there somebody at 39 or 29, when you was 29 that took over the country? Isn't there somebody, you know, what? Why? Go someplace else. Go, go. Why? I mean, to take more money and put it in some sort of bank account someplace. And I'm, I'm so happy for for the blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I hope, I hope people embrace it and just get rid of these banking situations. But I digress. So that's the, so that's the thing. Nothing has changed. This is this guy was saying. It's you know the same people going to be in power. The same they're going to do the same stuff. There's going to be no new ideas. I should say no new ideas. That's an absolute harm. Very few new ideas, if at all. Uh, so Zimbabwe, I feel for you. You know, you know when I think about Zimbabwe too, I always think about um, um, you know that concert when they had the liberation. Uh, Bob Marley put in a Zimbabwe song with, with, with that that concert had uh, Bob Marley and um, Stevie Wonder were were there uh, in Zimbabwe when they had their liberation in 1980. Whatever. So so anyway, wow, things things. Things going on. So I would suggest everybody gets to talk about Bob Marley. I got my Mooty bag here. Boy, I like my Mooty bag. I actually don't have any Mooty in it, but we all need some Mooty. So make sure you get your Mooty together because we're in. Whoa, it's a ride. The modern world, it's a ride. It's a ride. That's a message for me. T, from the Patterson's taking the trench to that, letting you know what I only suspect.